How's it going, everybody? Um, the merch? Yep, we got some merch. I'll probably talk about it more in a bit, because obviously, I feel like whenever we start a stream, nobody's there, and then we have to talk about it a bunch of times. Um, so we'll probably talk about it in a bit, but uh, I took pretty much two days off, guys. It's kind of a lot for me, but I was very busy, I think. One of the days I was just really tired, and then yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw the, the Instagram thing, but I was hanging out with the family, hung out with Bimbus, was pretty nice, I think. Um, we fed them some steaks, and this is kind of weird, but we cooked it with like uh, some some weird wood. Is that is that a weird thing to say? I don't know, but anyway, Elion T, thanks for the sub. But um, yeah, I think yesterday we hung out with the family, uh, we cooked it with illegal wood, which is not actually illegal. All right, all right guys, I say that because it sounds funny. It wasn't actually illegal, obviously. Um, it's just that like certain trees are illegal to cut down, right? So the wood is very hard to get. But obviously, if the wood's already there, it's there. But it would be illegal to harvest more of it. It's just if it's already there, it's there, you know? Um, so we cooked Bimbus a very rare steak. Or it wasn't rare. Well, it was like medium rare. Anyway... Point is, it wasn't rare, rare. Um, but yeah, got him a rare steak, guys. FBI catch him. It's not actually illegal. It just sounds cooler when you say it that way, you know? So, um, basically, I just hung out with the family yesterday. We went shopping, hung out with Bimbus. I, I feel like it was, it was a nice trip because Bimbus still remembered me. I feel like that's always a concern, guys. You know, if you don't see a pet for a long time, you're like, do you, do you think they still remember me? But I feel like he, he would always run to me anyway and sit with me, so I, I think he remembers, probably. So I thought it was a, it was a really nice trip. Saw the family, kind of realized that me and the family don't have that much in common. None of them play games or watch anime, and uh, yeah, so we don't have that much in common. But it's obviously nice seeing the family once in a while, guys. I saw, um, I actually visited my grandma. The, uh, oh, it was, it was crazy. So not everyone knows this story, right? When I first started streaming, guys, I, my grandma and my parents uh, lived together, and I streamed out of their backyard when I first started streaming. So I actually was there, guys. I was there yesterday. I went to see the old, uh, the old shack um, that I started streaming from. It's kind of crazy, kind of crazy. I was like, dang. Went from there to a uh, much nicer place now. So, yeah. It was, uh, it was a good trip, and then we, we cooked Bimbus some steaks and some shrimps and stuff. Uh, I think he likes steak a little more than shrimp, but yeah, it was a good trip. Just hung out with the family. Haven't done that in a long time. I visited my grandma, who I haven't seen in like for a very long time. Um, so she was like super happy, guys. I feel like this is kind of weird, but um, Asian parents are, are not parents, like grandparents. They like it when you buy stuff. Is it just me? I don't know, but but my grandma was like, I'm so glad you can afford to live on your own now and you don't live in our backyard anymore. And I was like, thanks, grandma, thanks. I mean, she, she didn't say it in English. She doesn't speak English, so. Um, but I was just like, thanks. That's that's real nice of you, grandma. And then she wanted to, like, take a picture. I don't know why, because she doesn't know how to use her phone. But she was like, yeah, take a picture of me and me. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. Good old good old grandma. I think she was, she was very proud uh, or something, so. Pretty good trip overall, guys. Pretty good trip. But it was was very nostalgic, guys. I went back there and I was like, man, I used to stream out of this place uh, back in the old days. So, <clears throat> yeah, it was a good trip. Uh, pretty much just hung out with the family, hung out with Bimbus, and... Uh... Did you guys hear that? Jesus. Anyway, weird and sin. Thanks for the sub. What? Guys, I I'm gonna be honest, some of the cats have been uh, not getting along quite as well as they used to. Uh, so, anyway. <clears throat> little cat? No, little cat's really chill. It's, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, it happened on, didn't it happen on Leslie's stream, like, the other day? Uh, two of the cats don't get along quite as well. And then, uh, little cat's, like, super chill. And so is Nabby. So, Crash, Anxious, and Cindy. Thanks for the sub. And Dots. And shiny and Asia. All right. Um, it happened on Leslie's stream. Yeah, it's kind of freaky. A little bit scared about that. Oh, Jinx, thanks for the sub. 
Hope you're doing well, Jinx. We never got to play Valorant that one time, so... Oh, uh, cool. Thanks for the sub, and Ember, and Breaks. How do I get the merch? It's not available till next week, actually. And I feel like a lot of people wanted the hat. Unfortunately, that's not available. Um, it's pretty much just two shirts, the hoodie plus the scarf. That's available. I didn't want to make, like, a huge bunch of stuff because... Guys, look, look. I don't know if it's going to sell or not. I don't want to produce a million things and then nobody buys it and then it's just awkward and I lose all my money. Um, so I, I tried to keep it small just to see if people would even buy it. Um, and that was most of it. That's, that's all there is. There might be more if people actually buy it, but you never really know, right? So, um, Cheetos, thanks for the sub. And KRV. Nope. Uh, sold? You never know, guys. You never know. Um, I need the hoodie. All right, well, I'm going to say my favorite thing is the hoodie, obviously. I, I, I don't know if I should say that um, because obviously, I don't know. I mean, we uh, theoretically want everything to be sold. But um, anyway, Can, thanks for the sub. What's the size range? I actually don't know all every single detail, guys. Um, I'm hoping to keep the prices like similar to Ray's. Uh, but I'm going to be honest. I, I told them the prices I wanted to sell it at. And they pretty much told me that we're going to lose money if we sell it at those prices. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have to figure that out. I, did, I didn't realize how much it cost. I mean, guys, I'm going to be honest. Most t-shirts I buy are like, I, look, look, I'm the dude who stacks a coupon on top of a coupon on top of a fake email address to get 10% off more. So I'm like, uh, you know, I buy my t-shirts for like 10 bucks and then, um, uh, they were like, yeah, we're, we're literally going to lose all like, so you can't sell them for that much. And then I looked at the prices like Ray and other people sold their merch for it. And I was like, I guess it makes sense. Um, scam. Well, I'm not a scam. I mean, it's, they have 75% off plus the sales section, 50 plus 70% plus another. Anyway, point is, um, yeah. So I'm going to try and keep it at least close to what everyone else has. Um, I think. Hopefully it does well, guys. I mean, I don't know. It's it's always hard to say, I feel like. Ruza, thanks for the sub. And Wanton, thanks for the five gifted Wanton. It's a whole bunch of gifted. And uh, Kat, thanks for the tier two. And Saint, thanks for the tier three. Merch. Yep, we got some merch, guys. Hopefully it's good. Don't know exactly how it's going to go, but... Um... All right, Troy, thanks for the sub. Um... Okay. Hope you earn a lot. I'm going to be honest, guys. I've been trying to keep the prices low, so I'm not going to make that. That I, Yeah, I I hate to say I not I don't make that much off of it, actually, um, which is which is OK. I mean, I'm not I'm not in it all for the I just wanted my entire goal was just make something that I would want to wear. And that's most of it. Uh, Bang and Ken. Thanks for the subs. OK. What are you playing tonight? I'm not even sure, guys. A lot of my friends are busy today, so we'll figure it out, hopefully. I like the color of the hoodie. Yeah, I was originally going to go with, like, black or something because everybody just wanted, like, you know, everyone wears black. I, most of my hoodies are black. But I figured I wanted to try something a little bit different than the usual streamer merch, so I feel like the green is different, so hopefully people like that. Um, what size are you wearing? So I like it to be like a little too big because I feel like it's comfier. So I got a medium. Normally I'm a small though, but uh, I do feel like I just got a bigger size because it's comfy. But um, Mel, thanks for the sub. All right, but guys, I'm going to wait to talk about it for a bit because obviously not everyone's here yet. Uh, so like it'll be awkward to talk about it before it's ready. Um, but anyway, it's going to be ready next... Next week, you can buy it, um, I think next week. The prices are still being slightly decided, but it should be around close to the same prices like Ray's merch or something, so. Uh, Rin Rin, thanks for the sub. But we did go to the shoot the other day, guys. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, like, I think we went there and Ray literally just came back wearing a scarf or something, or she just had it, and I was like, um, yeah, you can wear it, just like pretend you found it or something, I don't know. So um, she literally wore it, and honestly, guys, I wasn't even sure if I liked the scarf or not because I don't wear scarves, but I feel like Ray looks really good with it. So like, I mean, Ray looks good all the time, but like she made it look good. So I was like, huh. I wasn't sure if I liked it, but then seeing Ray wear it, I was like, oh wait a minute. Um, 
So, don't know. Um, Alizé and Jamal and Fish. Thanks for the sub. Ray looks really good in it. Yeah, I think so too. I was kind of nervous because I was like, do people wear scars? I don't. But obviously, like, it's been part of my character's design for a long time. So a lot of people said I should do it. Um, and that's pretty much why I did it. Uh, the thing I had the most input on was the hoodie. So I can talk the most about that. Uh, the other stuff, Lily, obviously made most of the choices on it. Um, so I can say a lot about the hoodie. Lily did a lot of work on it, though. So a lot of thanks to her, of course, too. What happened to your Instagram? Oh, yeah, guys, we got the actual Saikuno name on Instagram somehow. Don't know how that happened, but apparently we got it now. So we're actually Saikuno on Instagram. Uh, it's no longer Saik Uwu. Oh, wait, I probably didn't update my links yet, did I? Probably need to, need to change that. Um, yeah, we got the official Saikuno name on, on Instagram now. So that's kind of cool. Um, let, me, let me change my links really quick. No, bow and bang. Thanks to the subs. Okay. Is it, do I have to change it on Twitch too? I don't know how to. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually know how to do that. How did I do it the first time? Well, anyway. Um, AG, thanks for the sub. All right. Um, what are you doing on stream today? I was probably going to try and, you know, talk about the merch. Lily said she designed the stickers too. Yeah, she did. I'm actually, I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't know how the stickers are even working. Like, because as far as I know, they're not even for sale. I think you just get them for free if you buy something. I think. I don't know. Or maybe if you spend a, I have no idea, but there's no price on it. So I think they're just free if you buy stuff. Uh, so like I said, guys, I'm not aiming to make like the most money here. I just want to make clothes that I would be comfortable wearing and that I would like. Um, I tried to keep the prices as low as possible, but merch is more expensive than I thought. Uh, mostly because I'm not making like a million hoodies, you like big companies. So, uh, and a lot of it's custom, custom made and designed mostly. Um, so I'm trying to keep it like at least close to what everyone else sells the merch for. Um, so it looks good quality. Yeah, I, I think it is. I think it is. But anyway, that was pretty fun. We did the merch shoot the other day and I'm glad it was shorts. It was, uh, I think we started at like nine or something, nine or 10. And then we ended at like, like 1 PM. So it was legit like four hours, five hours. I pretty much just said, hey guys, let's all just show up, take some pictures and we'll be done. I didn't want to do like a multi-day video, 360 like drones flying around kind of shot. I just wanted like a kind of a, a really like, you know, simple thing. I just wanted like kind of plain. I feel like I'm a pretty plain person, you know, um, size chart. So I'm wearing a medium right now. You can tell it's a little bit too big for me. I usually wear a small but I kind of like having slightly oversized hoodies because they're comfy. Um, so that's the plan. Zipper and Kotsu and Absolute. Thanks for the sub. You going to hand deliver it to Corpse? Um, I plan on it, yeah. I plan on it for sure next time I can. Um, also, Corpse did come out with those two new songs. So, yeah. Anyway, Daniela, thanks for the sub. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make a TikTok of it because I don't have a TikTok, but it'll happen. Um, Poltergeist. Oh, you guys didn't see the secret song yet. That was a joke. That was a joke. Or maybe it wasn't. Am I allowed to mention the secret song? Anyway, um, Ichigo, thanks for the sub. Two. Oh, you guys didn't hear about the secret song. <laughs> well, I mean, there is no secret song. There is, there isn't one. Um, but yeah, I think it was pretty good guys. I just wanted an easy shoot uh, Nothing crazy cuz like I feel like I just want to take a few pictures um, Isra, thanks for the sub but Yeah, that's most of it guys. I took a few days off. I was hanging out with the family and stuff um, Had a great time. I saw the old shack. I streamed out of Hung out with Bimbis met my grandma for the first time in a long time um, It was good merch coming out next year or not next year next week next week um Next week, um, you can order it. And here's, oh, I should probably mention this, guys, on how the merch is going to go. Um, so initially, I wanted to produce a bunch, and then you guys can order it and get it in less than a couple months. Because a lot of merch drops, and I'm sure you guys have seen it, you'll buy it, and you'll get it eight months later. And there's nothing wrong with that. 
it's not even the merch company's fault usually. It's just a lot of shipping and uh, a lot of, you know, delays, right? So here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to produce the merch and have it get to your door within a month or two of you ordering it, uh, like at the latest. But here's the problem. We don't know how many people are going to buy it. So we produced, is it pre-order? It's like partial pre-order. It's partial pre-order. Um, so you're never going to have to worry about, am I going to ever get it or not? But here's, here's the weird thing. Um, we made as much as we could that like made sense. And the first people who buy it are going to get it much, much sooner. So it, basically, here's how it works. We have like some amount of hoodies and we have some amount of everything. And if you buy it first, it'll show up to your door in like hopefully less than a month or two. Um, that way you don't have to wait forever. But the thing is, if too many people buy it and we just can't produce it, it'll be a pre-order, but it'll show up way later. So um, I think that's what we agreed on because for me, I just didn't want it to take too long. But at the same time, it's kind of weird to like make people fight over like limited drops. Not that it's a bad idea. I mean, you guys know a lot of companies do like, oh, there's only a few of these bricks. Let's buy the brick. So um, it's not going to be that crazy um, where it's limited, limited. Um, it, it's going to be sort of unlimited, but the people who buy it first will get it much, much sooner, like a lot sooner, like hopefully in like a month or two maximum um, is what we're hoping for. You never really know with delays and all that, but we did already produce a good amount of them. And basically, yeah, the people who buy it first will get it way, way sooner. Um, and then the people who do have to pre-order it and buy it later won't get it for a while um, because that's it's just how it's going to be, guys. I think that's the best way to go to avoid, like, look, look, guys, I think we saw what happened with Corpse's hoodie. Um, there's a lot of fake ones out there after it sold out in the first, like, literally 15. I couldn't even get one. Uh, and that's how the whole hand-delivered thing came out. But um, I couldn't even get one. It sold out too fast. There's no pre-orders. And then it was, it was a little tough. So I think what we're going to do is uh, you can buy it. It's probably going to sell out. And then after that, it becomes a pre-order. Uh, it'll take much longer. But the first people that buy it will get it much sooner. And that's, I think, a good kind of a mix for the people who can buy it quick um, and people who couldn't. But they'll still get it, just not immediately. Jules, thanks for the sub. And Dragon. All right. No fake merch? Hopefully not. What time will it come out? Should be about 12 o'clock next Friday is the plan. So, yeah. No war? I mean, if you want to get it on time, then there might be because they're international shipping. I think there is, yeah. It'll probably cost a little more, though. But uh, there will be. I mean, if you want it, you'll be able to get it, pretty much. Um, can't guarantee how affordable it'll be if you like live in a weird area that's very hard to get. But um, it should be there, and then the people who order first just get it at a reasonable time. Everyone else, unfortunately, will probably have to wait a little longer. But I do feel like a lot of people who have seen merch before uh, are probably used to that, right? I mean, like, uh, Ray's merch, and there's no flame to it. It's, it's normal. It happens all the time. Um, it, it takes a while to get out, you know? So, uh, but I can guarantee that the people who order early enough will get it on time. So... Oh, uh, Peak, thanks for the sub. How much does it cost? It's not 100% confirmed, but it should be around the same price as like Ray's and Corpse's merch, I hope. Um, that's the idea anyway. All right. But guys, that's pretty much it. Hung out with Bimbus. Merch shoots. Merch coming out. And um, I think I should probably talk about it a little bit. Because, um, okay, first of all, I'm going to say the t-shirt and scarf. Pretty much Lily did all that. I had the most input on the hoodie, so that's what I'll probably talk about the most. And let me uh, tell you guys what my plan was with the hoodie. So, like, um, I think basically this is what I was thinking, guys. And, like, I hope this doesn't come off as offensive, but you guys have for sure seen a lot of people's merch where it's, like, it has their name all over it. Uh, a lot of my friends do this, and there's nothing wrong with it because at the end of the day, you're buying their merch because you like their name. Because you're a fan of them, right? Like, I mean, I wear my corpse hoodie every day. It does have corpse, you know, like really big in letters all over the place, right? Uh, same with rays and stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. You're buying it because you like them. Um, but I kind of want to do something a little different and not, not as, you know, standout-y, sort of. So the first thing I did was just go green because everyone does black hoodies or white hoodies. 
And this might be a bad idea because green's obviously a more difficult color to, to sell to people. But I wanted to go for something slightly different. Um, and then the design, it just looks like a hoodie with a star on it, right? It's not super crazy looking. Um, I was actually kind of worried that people would think it's, it's too simple. But when I thought about it more, I figured out that's kind of what I really wanted it to look like. I wanted it to look like a, something that's not immediately ultra Saikuno looking, um, where it just looks like it's something, you know, that you could just wear any old day and you won't look like Saikuno's biggest fan ever. So it's pretty much just a green hoodie. It's got this star on it. It, it is embroidered instead of printed on. So it's a little bit higher quality. But here's the thing, guys. It would be a little too simple if it were just a hoodie with a star on it. Well, that's kind of what I wanted at first. I wanted people to look at it and be like, it's just a hoodie with a star on it. A star on it. It's not crazy because I don't want it to make it. I didn't want to make it look like you're the biggest Saikuno fan ever. So I tried to add like some smaller touches um, to make it a little more unique that hopefully people who watch my stream will appreciate. So let me try and explain what some of those are. But yeah, at first it's just hoodie with a star on it, nothing crazy. Um, one of the things I have is this little star on the hand. And this actually isn't embroidered. So it has two different materials already, which they told me it was a bad idea because it costs more. But I was like, whatever, I just want it to look cool. So this is embroidered, this is uh, not embroidered. This is actually glow in the dark because if you guys watch my stream, you guys saw me play GTA a lot, right? And I was like, you know had glow in the dark shoes which I thought was cool. So you have this on there, it looks pretty plain, but it actually glows in the dark because I was like, you know has glow in the dark shoes. I want my hoodie to have something glow in the dark. And that's why I liked it this way, because when someone looks at it, it's just a hoodie with a star on it. But if you watch my stream, let me pull up some pictures, guys. I got some good pictures of it glowing, um, but I feel like it was a cool touch because it's not something that's super obvious, but you're like, you're gonna see this one day and it's gonna glow in the dark and you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember you know shoes glow in the dark. And it'll kind of remind you of my stream, but let, let me pull up some pictures I took literally like five minutes before I pulled up the stream, guys. Cause it, I thought it looked kind of cool, but I mean, I literally like, um, so basically the way the glow in the dark works is you, it gathers lights for energy and then it glows when you put it in a thing. But, um, all right, let me, let me pull it up really quick and then you guys can see it. I'm gonna leak something, I bet. Please don't leak. <laughs> All right, right here, guys. Oh God, my fingers. Is this here? Uh, so this is what it looks like in the in the regular time, guys. Like at daytime, I guess, with the lights on. Um, and like this is this is. I'm just gonna say it's not edited at all, guys. So this is just what you see on your wrist when you're looking at it. And then I literally shined my phone's light on it for like five seconds and it just went in my closet literally five minutes ago and it glows. So it's, this is with the lights off. You can see a little light in the background. So I thought it was really cool because it's like, hey, if you watch me play GTA and I got glow in the dark shoes in GTA because I thought it was cool to have cops chase you, you know? Um, so I was like, I got to have a little glow in the dark thing on the hoodie. So I feel like it's a small touch that's not ultra Saikuno looking, but like, You'll see it one day and kind of remember Yuno know, had glowing shoes. But this hoodie glows in the dark a little bit too right here. And I thought it was a cool picture. So uh, I thought that was like, that's like one of the small touches that's kind of nice. It's not like super crazy, but my goal is basically make a hoodie that just looks regular. But then when you really look at it, it seems a little different, you know? So I got this glow in the dark thing because my GTA character has glow in the dark shoes. Um, and then another thing we got was I played Among Us a lot, right? And in Among Us, the little bean sprout I played as always had a leaf on his head. So my hoodie has a leaf, I'll just show you like this, has a leaf here on the hood. So if you put your hood on, you'll have a little leaf on your head, just like, uh, just like our Among Us character. So like, it's bendable too. So if you want it to like go up, it'll, I mean, that, that doesn't look good, but, um, but you can bend it and it stays that way. So like, it's got a little leaf on it. If you put the hood on, it looks like you're wearing the leaf, just like the Among Us character. So like, um, I think I added a lot of small touches, hopefully that people like, because when you first look at it, right, you're just like, it's just a hoodie with a star on it. Now it's like, it's pretty good quality. It's embroidered and stuff, it's nice. But I tried to add like little things where it's like, yeah, it glows in the dark, just like you know shoes or like, 
it's got the leaf, just like the little bean sprout from Among Us, you know? So I thought it was, that's, that was really my goal, guys. I wanted something that's like, it's just a hoodie you can wear, but, you know, to most people, it'll just look like a hoodie with a star in it. But to some people who buy it, hopefully they'll see the smaller details and be like, oh yeah, this is Saikuno's hoodie, because they'll see like smaller details like that. So I didn't want to like plaster my name on it. In fact, the only place that says my name is right here on this little like piece of metal. I think it's called an agalit. It says Saikuno on it, really small. You can't even see it because my camera's kind of blurry. But this is the only place that says my name on it because it's just like a small detail that I thought would be cool to throw in. So I think um, the aglet learned that from Phineas and Ferb. But anyway, that was pretty much my goal for the whole thing, guys. I just wanted a hoodie that looked like it was a plain old hoodie. You know, I think most people are going to look at it and think it's too plain. Then you'll be like, oh, it's just a hoodie with a star in it. And they're probably right. But I think to some people, they'll see like, one day they'll see a little glow in the dark part. They'll remember Yuno with his glow in the dark shoes. Or they'll like put the hood on. They'll remember a little bean sprout with a sprout on his head. So I was hoping to go for something like that where I don't have to put my name on it for people to realize that this is Saikuno's hoodie without putting Saikuno on it, you know? So I think um, hopefully I've achieved that and hopefully people like that because obviously, yeah, I don't have my name in big letters on the back of the hoodie or something like that. I just tried to add in little things from the stream that... uh. If you watch my stream, you'll remember it, hopefully. So that was my main goal with the merch, guys. It was more subtle. It's something you can just pick up and wear, and you don't have to worry about looking like Saikuno's number one fan. But the thing is, if you are a big fan, you'll remember all the little things we did on stream. And yeah, I think it's, it's a pretty good I keep hitting my microphone, but hopefully you guys like it. I put a lot of thought into it. Uh, there's a lot of smaller details. It's not like some crazy logo. It's not a lot of stuff. But, um, yeah, I think it really has a lot of elements from, you know, from the stream and stuff. And I think anyone who watches my stream all the time will for sure, uh, you know, recognize it, I hope. Anyway, Toxic, thanks for the sub, and King. <laughs> Is there a different color? There's actually supposed to be two colors, but I thought this one looked really good, and I didn't want to do the other one because it wasn't exactly how I wanted it. So, hopefully you guys like it. I think uh, I put a lot of thought into it. It's got a lot of small details that I think will, um, you know, remind you of the stream or something like that. And probably most people will just think, yeah, it's just a hoodie with a shirt on, or a star on it. Um, so, yep, hopefully you guys like it. I definitely do. It's been one of my favorite hoodies. I think just quality-wise, it's good. And then you add in the small touches and it reminds me a, a lot of the stream and stuff like that. So. Anyway. That's most of it with the hoodie, guys. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, your brain is wrinkly? I, I wouldn't say that. I just want to do something where it's like not ultra Saikuno merch looking. But if you really know it, then you'll see it as a little bit more than just a hoodie with a star on it. But there, there's definitely a lot of unique things on there, I think. There's like literally this is embroidered and this is like printed on, which is different. Uh, most people only do the printing. So I already have like... Uh, different processes put into it. Uh, I think it's pretty unique for a hoodie to have that, plus like a leaf on the back. There's a lot of different unique features that aren't usually all put in one hoodie. Um, and apparently it's not very cheap to do that. So uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm not making a, a huge amount of money on it. I'm trying to keep the price as low as possible, hopefully at a minimum around uh, what most of my friends charge for their hoodies. But obviously there's, there's a lot of different production things in this. And uh, yeah, anyway. That's most of it. I do think it'll be at a minimum unique. Like, I mean, it's green for one thing. That's already different. But yeah, I hope everyone likes it. If not, worst case, I guess at least I have a hoodie that I like. So, anyway, Kovan Toasty, thanks for the subs. All right, can we see it with a hood on? I mean, I guess, but yeah. <laughs> so you can adjust this so it goes up. But that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? So like, <laughs> um, so you, you can adjust it and it should stay, but it's like, I don't know, I, I haven't, I just kind of leave it flat for the most part. But um, yeah, I think it's, it was pretty good. I, I mean, I'm happy with it. I hope most people are too, and I get it. Um, I will say this, I got a slightly larger size than normal, so this is a medium. You can tell it's a little big on me. 
but I kind of like it a little a little poofy because it's comfortable. But um, should be coming out the 15th, guys. The 15th. All right, Snowy and uh, MLG, thanks for the sub. And Gaia, thanks for the five gifted. Gaia, it's a whole bunch of gifted. Thanks a bunch. All right. Um, anyway, yeah, next, uh, next Friday, I think it'll be available to, to buy. Hopefully people like it. Uh, honestly, I'm just hoping I at least break even and don't uh, lose money on this. But, yeah. Is it supposed to be oversized? I mean, if you order a bigger size, I'm usually a small. This is a medium. Just because I think it's comfy when you have a slightly big hoodie. So. Um, use. Thanks for the sub. And Camisa. Can we pre-order? Uh, not right now. The orders are going to be on Friday. And here's how it's going to work. We have a bunch made already. And they're on the way here. And the first people who buy it will get it much, much sooner. And then everyone else who buys it, it'll be a pre-order. It's, it's just the way it has to be, guys. It's the most reasonable. Because um, initially, I wanted to order enough where everybody could just get it at a reasonable time. But the problem that happened with that was we don't know if anyone's going to buy it. So we can't buy, like, you know, a bazillion hoodies and then nobody buys. It's kind of weird. So we got a good amount of them. First people who buy it will get it soon-ish, like in a month or two max. And then everyone else will get it much later. Which is unfortunate, but that's just the way to go. Um... Claw, thanks for the 25 gifted. That's a whole bunch of gifted. Thanks a bunch, Claw, for the 25 gifted. How long is the pre-order up? I'm not 100% sure. I'm thinking a month or two, probably. But, yeah, other than that, I'm not 100% sure, guys. But it's not available yet. It's available on next Friday. So, how many are available straight away? I don't know exactly. Uh, some amounts. Um, but, yeah. Leo, thanks for the five gifted. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, uh, people like the hoodie. I put a lot of thought into it. But at the end of the day, you never really know if it's going to sell or not. And I was concerned it was a little too plain, but I, I think it looks cool. So, you know. Um, okay. Is the t-shirt embroidered too? Yep, it is. It's not ultra fancy, but I did for sure say I want something high quality. Um that hopefully will be good, even if it's not like ultra fancy looking. Um, it's it's pretty good quality, I think. So anyway, it'll be available next week, guys. Hopefully you guys like it, um, and hopefully I don't go broke for some reason. But it could happen. You never really know. Will you restock it? Uh, we won't have to. We're doing partial pre-orders and partial. Everyone gets it when they buy it. Well, not everyone, but um, basically we have some amount in stock right now. If you buy it and you're one of the first people who buy it, you're going to get it quick. Um, and then if you're not one of the first people who buy it, you'll still get it just just much later. So, yeah. Um, Claus, thanks for the 25 more gifted. That's a whole bunch of gifted. Thanks a bunch, Claus, for the 25 more gifted. That's super generous of you. Thanks a bunch, Claus. Can you tell us about the sizes? Uh, no, other than this is a medium, because I don't know that much about it. Um, we'll, we'll try and come up with more details. Um, but this is a medium. It's a little big on me, but I kind of like it poofy. So, um, yeah. Oh, uh, Senpai and Ari, thanks for the subs. Okay, how much did it cost you? Uh, I don't think I can say exact numbers. What I can say is I'm not going to make that much money uh, on each one. Uh, I did not know merch costed so much, but I guess that's just how it goes. So, um... All right. Um, I'm thinking the prices should be very close to Ray and Corpse's merch. Uh, should be very close to that. But, you know. Okay. Lion, thanks for the sub. All right. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll be honest. I don't know exactly what we're going to play today because a lot of our friends are busy. I feel like there's, um, there's GTA or maybe Fortnite or something. Um, okay. Oh, one sec. Oh, uh, Zymet, thanks for the sub. GTA, guys, do people do stuff in GTA still? Um, 
If he's 5'9 and a medium looks too big, I'll get a small. I mean, it just depends on what you want. I kind of like slightly bigger, but I mean, yeah. No clue. I mean, I know Leslie's been doing stuff, but most of the squad is still telling me it's a little stale for them. So depends on who you ask, I suppose. But Echo, thanks for the sub. All right. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got on the merch, guys. Hope you guys like it. Um, all right. Do Fortnite? Guys, guys, no one's around for Fortnite, man. Nobody's around. Um, all right. Or maybe they are. Solo it? I could solo it. I saw... Guys, you know what's crazy? Um, what's it called? Pokey solos Valorant. Absolute maniac, I tell you. Or maybe not a maniac. Maybe I shouldn't say that because I've never tried it before, but I mean, who knows? Uh, Marissa, thanks for the sub and Echo. She's crazy. Okay, maybe not crazy, but I feel like it's tough. Ask Mr. Lane to do Yeah, I'm asking the squad if they want to do Fortnite. I bet they'd want to eventually, but... Fortnite or Valorant or something. Um... Um, you tried it that one time? Did I? Did it go well? I think we, we did have some friendly dudes there. So it wasn't all bad. Um, all right. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much the big announcement, guys. Merch coming out in a week. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. Did you see Jay's new music video? Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I liked it. Um, all right. Was that the merch? Yep, this is it. It's a little big. It's a little big, but that's because I wanted it to be a little bigger because I feel like it's comfier. So. All right. Um, I think we'll probably play some Fork and Knife eventually and then um, maybe a little GTA or something. So. Karim, thanks for the sub. Um, is there a bonus for buying everything? I am not sure. I know there's supposed to be stickers, but since they're not for sale, I'm assuming they just give them out or something like that. Don't know. Uh, Robbie, thanks for the sub and Karim. Okay. Is everything unlimited? I think it's unlimited, but don't quote me on that. Um, so, show it to us. Guys, I don't even have it. I've got this hoodie. That's most of it. Um, no crab game? Oh my god, am I playing crab game today? Oh yeah, I'm playing crab game today. Was I doing that? Is that? How did you know that, but I didn't? Is that today? It might be today. I, I might have a little crab game today. I forgot. Um, um, let's see. You told us? Did I? I've been busy these past two days. I've been gone. I'm not sure if you guys noticed. Yeah, I'm not even going to pretend. I genuinely forgot I was, I was maybe going to do that. Slim, thanks for the sub. Okay, um, let's see, chat your personal assistant. Guys, I actually feel like I'm the least professional um, streamer because I don't have, listen, Ray has like, wait, should I be saying this? Ray has like an assistant, a stylist, like a, uh, she has like all these people. She'll just be like, hey, do this. And she'll have people like scramble about and do all the things. And I'm like, oh God, she's fancy. Meanwhile, I'm out here like, Living a scuffed life, guys. I, I don't know. But Glon, thanks for the sub. And Anthony. And time. Okay. Struggling. I mean, I'm not like struggling, but I do know a lot of my friends have like assistants and stuff like that. But I'm like a potato. I just play games usually. Um, Torch, thanks for the sub. And CRV. All right. Have you seen X's assistants? He has, he has them. Huh. 
I, I'm surprised if he does, but I don't know. Um, is the bucket hat there? No, it's not actually. Um, Sin, thanks for the sub. <clears throat> no, he doesn't. Yeah, I figured he wouldn't. Um, I also feel like he's similar to me in the sense that he doesn't do a whole lot of, you know, um, you know, crazy out of, like, he just plays games mostly, just like I do, kind of. Okay. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, uh, hopefully people like the stuff that's been made. Um, okay. I think we can get on GTA for, should we, I guess we can get on GTA for a bit. See what's up, maybe, and then... We might have some crab game to do, and then maybe like Fortnite or something. But, um, okay. Over here. All right, LFA today. Guys, I still don't know when the materials are gonna be around, so we'll have to see. Like the medium size hoodie. Um, I like it that it's a little poofy. It gives you a little space, so. Okay, um. Let's get the old thingy open. Oh no. I have to get my email confirmation code again. Uh, yeah, surely I can just get my email real quick. So I guess it's been, th so every 30 days, no pixel requires you to like check your email. And I don't remember my password. So I've reset my password like five times because I always forget my password and it's trying to get me to Okay, um, okay, I, I think we got it, mostly. Okay, I use bit, I use, uh, guys, I don't trust, uh, what's it called, password storing things. I don't know why, like, I'm sure it's pretty safe, but, like, it just feels like I'm storing all my passwords on an online notepad. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I'm sure it's probably just about as safe as it gets, but... It feels weird for me. Okay, let me set up the OBS scene. All right, here we go. All right, how about a notebook? Guys, I, I don't know, I feel like it's so easy to leak stuff. Um, okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick and then 